uh, Tahir was smoking a jewel, and I was like, you know, I was an anti I was in an anti smoking commercial back in the day. Oh God! First of, of all, course, I didn't know what was going on. College of Kentucky. They came and was like, "Hey, y'all want to be in this commercial?" And they said they was gonna pay us a hundred dollars. I was like, "Oh my gosh, absolutely!" <laughs> that makes so much sense. <laughs> that makes so much sense you were the one that was just like don't smoke weed don't don't do cigarettes no but i really just went there because it was a hundred bucks and they didn't really tell us what we were doing right they just said it was back then you remember truth the anti-smoking commercials like those were big but like they didn't really tell us what we were doing they made it seem like it was a party so they drove us all down to louisville kentucky which is like an hour from my school and they were like, yeah, we're giving away all this stuff. Here goes like a Nintendo. Here goes like a, a iPhone. They was like giving stuff away to all these college kids. And we're like lit. There's a DJ. And then after all, they gave all these prizes. They're like, okay, now we're going to do the commercial, guys. All you got to do is walk up to this building. And when we say go, just lay down on the ground dead. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> we're like, okay. I mean, that's what? easy enough for a hundred bucks. Y'all, we was you know what building we were in front of? It was like the headquarters for Brown Foreman, which is like one of the main tobacco mm -hmm. like, manufacturers in the U.S. Yep. We like walked up to, we were in downtown Louisville, walked up to their headquarters, looked up at the building. They're like, go. Everyone just like lays out on the ground. And they're like, pretend you're dead until we say cut. So then, you know, Dark. you had we had to do it like five or six times. And so me, I'm trying to like die different ways, right? I was like, okay, this time I'm gonna die with my eyes closed. Next time I'm gonna yeah. die like this. Ah. Ah. The next time I'm gonna die like maybe I should like have this four and more to look That's what face. extras be doing though. They be like like going hella deep into their parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know if anybody's watching like that. And then and that was it, right? And they were like, Well, everybody gets a hundred bucks. If we decide to like do a close up of you or whatever, we'll send you more money. All of a sudden, I get this big fat check a few months later, and I was like, "What is this for?" And um, they were like, "Oh, we use a close up of you, and here's what it looks like." So like on the piece of paper, they just do like a little <laughs> screenshot, and, you know. And I was like, "Okay, well, yeah, that was oh, that was the d dead look with my eyes open. They picked that. Okay, cool. Wow, I love it. Ever seen it until that summer? I went to the movies with my friends. And you know how they had the commercials before the yeah. movies? Played it in the film? Yes. They, no, they played it in the theaters before the movie started. That's crazy. And so I was like, oh, I think this is the commercial I'm in, y'all. All of a sudden, the close-up of my face, and I'm going to tell y'all, it was horrendous. I put the little <laughs> link in here if y'all want to see oh, what it looks like. you got it? Yes, yeah. look in the chat. Looking, I put I'm it in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's, it's like a minute long. I'm looking no, at it right now. I'm, I'm at uh, 38, 37 seconds. <laughs> and th imagine that. Wait, and, oh, oh wow. Look at Chucky mm -hmm. Face Meg. Hold on, y'all. Oh, there we go. I got to show y'all. <laughs> I got to show y'all on the cam. Yeah. Um, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on. Let me imagine that me. filling up an entire. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a dead it. cabbage patch. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you a child? I was like nineteen. Oh, you look like like a little kid. I was like eighteen <laughs> or nineteen. I cannot Man, believe y'all. You, che you cheeked up. You really cheeked up out here. That's really probably what I would look like if I was dead. Yo, I, I really like, I was so embarrassed when it came up because it filled up the entire movie screen. Like, I can't believe they played it in the movie theater. That's crazy. I can't either. I, just, yeah. I was so excited until I saw, I was like, oh gosh, never mind. Nobody else ever see this again. And it kept playing because I kept getting checks for like 10 years. Yeah, I worked for True for. Probably six years, six, seven years. Was you smoking what? when you was off stage with them? No, I wasn't smoking. Oh, you weren't smoking at all? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, we had people that worked for the company that smoked. It wasn't like <laughs> an anti-smoking thing. It, the truth's whole thing was presenting people with all the facts so they could make an informed decision before they smoked. So that's what they, that's what their whole thing. They weren't anti-smoking. They were just pro-information. So I Yeah, they were... Them, 
Weren't they funded by the tobacco companies themselves? They were funded by a settlement that the tobacco companies oh, had yeah. to pay. Mm-hmm. So the, the, the tobacco companies had to pay all of this money to all the states, and they came up with the truth campaign, and it was basically just giving you all the facts. That commercial that Meg was in, that was the 1,200 people died a day from tobacco-related products. And so that was that fact. <clears throat> That's why all of those wow. 1,200 people died at one time. Maybe well, thanks, the, Truth, for the for the money. <laughs> Meg, are you in the Freak Nick documentary too? I'm not. I went in '98. They they highlight '94. Mm. Oh, was it like crazier then? You went yeah, Freak Nick? It started slowing he down was, by like '90. Who's that Freak Nick? How old are you, man? I was girl. I was 13. It's a long. It's a whole story. Yeah, it was, yeah. A, it was a school exactly trip that. that was the same weekend to the. <laughs> And, uh, and we went, <laughs> me and my friends went because the older upperclassman was like, yo, it's Freak Nick the same time as this like school trip. You're 13, and, you're not older upperclassmen? No, I'm saying I was a freshman in high school, but the like see, juniors and seniors was like, they knew what Freak Nick, I didn't even know what it was. But they was like, yo, Freak Nick is popping the same weekend we going to Atlanta for this school it's trip. It's so nasty. You should have knew that was not that is you disgusting. needed. But I was like, yo, this sounds fun. So me and my friends all like Seven of us were like, let's go. So we go down there. Lord, it was, but we was like so green. We're like, oh my gosh, there's naked women dancing. Oh my gosh. We were that so, pictures? No, we didn't take girl. You know, it was the little wind up cameras back then. But I have like, I had to have my Freak Nick 98 shirt. Um, That's it was crazy. wild though. I'm not gonna you got fight, merch. Like, yeah, they had merch. You don't remember? I, I wore it a few times. She had to commemorate it. She had to Someone sold that. it to you? Yes. It was like, it was like the Tommy Hilfiger flag and it said 98 and the back said, make him say, uh. And then it's like, Freak hey, that Nick. cashier was hella irresponsible. <laughs> Be like, what the fuck are you doing here, little girl? Get out of here. No, it was hella little kids there. Okay. That's They're the like, crazy small part. Large. There were so many small. <laughs> Atlanta is not a real place, bro. Atlanta is not a real place. That's it's the not. Yo, I, and it where was like the, and where like where were the chaperones at, Meg? You just out here wandering all. No, about. so so this what happened. They had like Friday. We're gonna go to the underground. Like these were all like white chaperones. They had no clue what Freak Nick was, and they were like, we don't understand why it's so hard to find like hotels this weekend. Like they had no clue, but of course, all the black people was like, "We well, you know why uh, we going on this trip? It's supposed to be like an educational trip they did every year to a different city, and they picked Atlanta during Freak Nick. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm just but saying, like we had to go to the ML. Is a is a dead giveaway. Like you shouldn't be there. That's like saying I'm going to Dick and Balls convention. I don't know if I should be there or not. <laughs> no, they didn't even know Freak Nick. They didn't. They never even heard of it, so they didn't know it was going on. So they just knew it was like a lot of people, but they thought, oh, they maybe the convention. Knew. They took all them kids down there hoping that they would get pregnant and drop out of high school. They knew exactly Damn. what the fuck they was doing. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I'm surprised everybody came back intact. Nobody got raped. Nobody got, like, kidnapped, nothing. Because I'm telling y'all, it was so scary to be out there. Like, we should... Hell yeah, I'm sure. Watch. It's very... I'm, I'm serious. Like, my friend, she... Like, I was... I looked every bit of 13. But one of my homegirls was very developed, right? So she... Mm. Well, she had on these little shorts, right? Just regular little short shorts. And dudes oh, was like no. filling up on her as she was walking past them. Yo, what? to the point, yes, to the point where we were, we like, we saw a cop. So we was like, cop, look, they're they're touching on us, blah, blah, blah. Yo, when I told the dude, the, the cop that like my friend was getting felt up on and she was like trying to push the guys away, the cop looked at me and was like, well, y'all shouldn't be out here. Right. Exactly. But hold on. I, look, y'all, what is, I'm 13. Y'all over here acting like I got great reasoning. I'm 13, okay? But yeah. but I mean, that's good advice. You guys should have probably left at that time when the, when <laughs> the, yeah. when the, when the policemen said The whole point was, to... the police are supposed to protect you. They was like, well, they was over here looking too. They were like, we trying to have fun. No. He no, was protecting you. He was saying leave. Day. You think yeah, they, he said leave. Was, and he probably was like, your parents have already failed you. So what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> You're 13. Yo, wandering that, around. That's, I don't know. They still question. don't know I went to Freak Nick and was wearing a shirt in the house. Now, Meg, here's the question, though. Did y'all leave after that? 
Uh, well, we were on. No, we were, no, there's a we bus. Like we can't. We couldn't. Hold on. Let's back up. It's 1998. There's no Uber. There's no cell phones. There's Damn. and we're how did I get down there though? How did I did I walk a, down there? Uh, a, what is it? Um, a charter bus. No, I'm talking about. So y'all walked off to Freak Nick because y'all weren't staying. Oh at the, no no the no! Park. Back up. So the so freak the way freak nigga is it's like in the street and it it centered around the underground which is like a yeah. downtown area it was like an underground yeah. mall right but above it is just downtown um Atlanta people so mm -hmm. pe people were literally blocking the streets with their cars you couldn't drive nothing right mm -hmm. so part of the itinerary for this class trip was to go to the underground mall that's what was the thick of it. So the, oh, the shit, charter gotcha. bus was parked there. We had to get out, and they were like, "Come back at four o'clock." And at this point, like Wait, we they was just let y'all just roam the street. <laughs> hey, yo, yes. the nineties was a wild time, bro. Let you loose in Atlanta. The nineties <laughs> yes, was wild. Let me let me ask all y'all a question right now. Would you, knowing what went down in a, at Freak Nick, and also? The, the 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 climate uh, of society day would y'all go to freak nick today in these yeah, times it wouldn't be the same in these times wouldn't it wouldn't be you same? couldn't yeah you couldn't act a fool everybody's yeah. recording everybody's yeah, insta no. chatting everything it's just well clearly much. everybody was recording back then too but it was different because <laughs> you didn't know where that shit was gonna end up like yeah you didn't think it was true. gonna end up nowhere and then plus yeah. it took like six to seven days to develop the actual evidence anyway so i'm gone <laughs> <laughs> Hey, never but I mean, taking did. 30 years to, to come out is a pretty good run, though. You could have lost hey. your job. You could have lost your job the next week. <laughs> hey, uh, you, you heard about the women that is, I think it's three women that are suing Hulu for this. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> a lot of people could sue, you just need I'm to sure nobody it. had the whole notice of filming posted anywhere. So anytime you post <laughs> somebody's likeness, especially on Hulu, something like that, you ain't get no clearance for these people. Ooh. Are they suing for money or are they suing for like defamation or something like that? Like, what are they suing? Pro probably I think, no, they are suing to try to keep it from coming out. Oh, they did some wild shit. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's what you're sorry, sis. Just hold. I mean, I, I would say this: everybody does look a lot different from when they look what they look like in the '90s. So just hope mm. nobody knows you, girl. I'm happy it's coming out, honestly, and Me only too. because. I don't like, and our generation does it too, I don't like how older people judge younger people like you weren't once young. Mm -hmm. I don't like that shit. So I'm glad all these aunties and mamas who who sit up there and be like, I would never. You suck dick on a Mazda. Like, you're going to, like... On a Mazda? Is that what Freak Nick was like for? You, Mazda's and, and you need to be, wild. You need to be wild. exposed because you judge God, you everybody. Damn. The only difference wild. between these kids and us and our parents or whatever is, like Lulu said, the documentation of it. We did all Damn. our shit in silence. And I will say one difference is that makes these kids stupid is at least we and our parents, and we did dumb shit. We did dirt. But at least we had shame. These kids have no shame. Right. <laughs> what they do. That's the only difference. They don't have any shame. You're like, you're not embarrassed? Like, zoom, zoom, like, nigga. <laughs> they don't I care. remember my, my brother used to go to like Myrtle Beach and stuff like that. And I remember one year I found like his pictures of like when he was there. He snatched that shit out my hand, dumb quick. Like, you don't need to be seeing this. And it was just bitches on cars with their ass out, him and his boys grabbing on the asses and stuff. I was like, they posed for this. And somebody was like, wait, wait. Yo, <laughs> right, yes. right. Go ahead and get that wind up in. <laughs> hey, I got a question. I got crazy. a question. So, but like you said, you had to be doing some wild stuff if you took it to court. It's one thing to be worried, like, oh, man, I, I hope I'm not on camera. But if you in court, so if your significant other, <laughs> you don't know, you don't know what happened at Freak Nick, but they were literally suing Hulu because of this documentary. How would that <laughs> How would that make y'all feel? Would y'all be like, wait, what happened to make you take it all the way to the Supreme Court? I'd just be like, you were young and dumb. Like, whatever. Like, but wait, you, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Back up. Yeah, what if it was your wife and she was like, so there might be level. me getting a train ran on me in this documentary? Would you then be like, uh, I'd be like you have I horrible, might. You made horrible <laughs> life decisions. <laughs> I might when be it comes, getting trained in sex, this I don't. When it comes to sexual stuff, I'm not in a position to judge anybody on their past discretions. Like, I, I am not. I am the last person to be like, ill. Because 
Yeah. I'd only be mad <laughs> if like you was doing yeah. some nasty shit back then and then you want to be approved with me now. Like bring the same energy. Where's where's this? You know, where, <laughs> that, where's that this? energy Your made action? you? That's why she was like, nah, I'm done. I'm done with that. I gotta change my life. <laughs> I'm with I'm with Lulu. If I found out that my partner used to be just wild, I'd be like, nah, we need to, we're gonna go buy a Mazda. And we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna park it in the parking lot of Rouse. And you I want you to do every goddamn thing you did on that tape to me. All right. <laughs> but you you the level of hoe, you so much of a hoe, you lawyered up. That's that's hey. a different level. <laughs> hey man, I'm not here that's to judge. No, what if what if the hoe is the lawyer? That's probably why. That's Kim K. She that's the it. lawyer. She the hey, judge. Man. Oh no, this can't. I'm just gonna out. see if I'm gonna see if it actually comes out next year in April. We shall see. But this is a perfect place for us to jump right into the first topic. Exactly what we're gonna do. Shout out to the OG squad. We got Mad Scoop, Lulu Gonzalez, Patrick Cloud. I'm to hear more. And we got a special guest today, Keon Pulley, Pulley coming back, pulling up for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump right into it right after this. Learning a second language for most of us in high school wasn't exactly <laughs> the high point of our academic careers. Like, I struggled in Spanish 1 and Spanish 2. But now thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there is an addictive, fun, and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in real life. And that's what I love, because in school, they wasn't teaching us real life situations. They just gave us a whole bunch of terms and like, yo, learn these terms. I'm like, yo, what tense do I use? I don't know what I'm doing. So I decided to go back and learn Spanish. And I love it. Babbel's 15 minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. I got it on my phone. I can learn it in the car when my girl is driving. Whenever I want to learn a lesson, I can just pull up my phone. I learn at my pace. Babbel's expertly crafted lessons are built around real life situations. So you'll actually learn how to have practical conversations about travel, relationships, business, and other things. See, some of these other language apps, they use AI for their lesson plans. But Babbel's lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching methods have been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. Now, that's what I need, because my accent be out here trash. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So, start your language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash squad. That's babbel.com slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D-D for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel. Language for life. First topic of the day, we have would you rather eat Cool Ranch Doritos cereal versus Flaming Hot Cheetos ice cream. Wait, you know what's funny? <laughs> because you were a freak, Nick, I just knew you were going to say eat ass, like out the gate. <laughs> Would you rather eat ass or... Uh, cool or Ranch ass. cereal or eating ass? <laughs> 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 that means that'd be a wild spectrum. As that tang about the same. <laughs> <laughs> cool Ranch cereal. Or would you rather eat booty? Go. <laughs> Who's booty? You know? <laughs> flaming hot booty. <laughs> wow. I think flaming hot Cheetos has made so much progress in the culinary world. I feel like somehow they would make the ice cream doable if I had to choose. Really? I mean, it's, both sound nasty, but there's no yeah. way I'm doing cool ranch chip flavor and milk. That's all I said. We got wait. Is the, the is the Doritos cereal like the same actual like tortilla chip, or is it like just the flavor on like let's uh, say like a, a cinnamon, cinnamon toast, toast crunch? crunch square? Right. Is is a puff like a oh. a, a unseasoned okay. puff or unflavored puff, and then it has the Cool Ranch seasoning mm. on it? You thought about and that and long. The, 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 that might not uh, be too bad. The, and then the chips are just ice cream with like a sprinkle of flaming hot. 
No, the flaming the ice cream is flaming hot flavor. So it's red ice cream and it's flavored like flaming hot. I so it's made, with that flaming hot. It's made with like flaming hot milk. <laughs> Like jalapeno <laughs> milk, infused milk. So it's just an ice cream that tastes like flaming hot Cheetos. Yes. And uh, basically, like they're both just savory dishes. Yeah, they're both mixed with milk. That's why this is a pretty good one. Uh, mm. They're both going to be disgusting. Mm. But I think I might go with the flaming hot. Well, here's a, here's a, here's a, here's the um the cheat code that none of y'all really thought about. Like you could always eat the cereal dry. People do that with Cheerios. They do it with. I know that was an chips. option. That's just eating the chips. Yeah, it's just the chips on a different type of yeah, it chip. It takes the fun out of it. Puffed, yeah, that's uh, not it gotta be with the milk to here. It gotta be with you the right. milk. You're right. That's a good point. You <laughs> That's like saying you missed out. You could just take the flaming hot out of the ice cream and now it's <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> I like my flaming hot with no flaming hot. Uh, <laughs> do you guys like hot Cheetos, anyways? I, I like, I do, but certain I don't like the times. flaming hot. Like, I like the wise. It's like wise hot popcorn. I like certain hot chips, but that flaming hot be that that extra spicy red. That shit ain't real, and I don't. Yeah, that's like red dye number sixty seven. I don't know. <laughs> I had flaming hot today, but that was the first time in like a year and a half. I'm not even on front. It, it's just I can't have it all the time. Yeah, and I can't eat them like I used to. Like I can just eat through the bag, and now yeah, I, I feel taste. I just want to wet my beak just a little bit, and then I'm out. Uh, I, I feel like once back you, back it's like it has to do with maturity. <laughs> when you mature, you can no longer tolerate that. It has to do with acid reflux. I can't yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I can't <laughs> do that hot shit like I used to no more, mm -hmm. child. That shit that had me up burping all night and shit. Uh, uh, it ain't worth it. Worse. I don't think I've ever had a full bag of flame of hot Cheetos. Oh, I see. Really? Damn, like, Lulu, you really wasn't on the block like that. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. what you weren't a hot Cheeto girl? Nah, I wasn't that girl. What chips was you eating from the bodega? Uh, The Deli Wise chips. Uh, oh, Wise is big in New York. Why Wait, yeah. even back then, they had the back deli hot. They had the spicy one, the deli hot spicy chips, and then they had the Wise onion rings, the Wise mm. hot popcorn. Um, wise then chips they had the bomb. Utz barbecue joints, the Utz uh, salt and vinegar. I was a salt and vinegar type of girl. That I was my joint. I had to grow up first, though. I, I I became that as an adult. I thought it you was. Never you like salt and vinegar as a kid? Yeah, you got the taste bud of somebody named Agnes. That's <laughs> that's that not was normal thing in New York. for a you child. You get you some salt yo. and vinegar chips and get you a little quarter water, like all the older girls. I have an older sister, so my older sister would do it. My older brother would do it. All the girls on the block would do it. I was like, I'm grown. Give me some salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> no, Lou, no, not the salt and vinegar. That was hot Cheetos in LA, I guess. Cause we definitely had the hot Cheeto girl who came in with a blanket to school. There you go. Yeah. With a blanket? Yeah. Hot Cheetos wasn't what out mean? when I was in high school. I feel like it came out later. What do you well, mean hot, with a blanket? No, it had to be man. Hot Cheeto. They they came in at seven a.m. with food from. Uh, no, they come in late to class with a blanket and food from uh, somewhere that they stopped. Even though they were late, but why? Yeah, they they but why she always have a blanket? Because everybody has that one girl. Like, why? Why? Where was your jacket, sis? Why you always? Have she a always cold. That, that she, the jacket ain't enough. She need that blanket because she gonna go to sleep in class too. That's we, the other we, thing. We wasn't allowed to do that in Moscow. We wasn't allowed to bring excess shit. Like we had to go through a metal detector and a conveyor belt. You only you, get it with a, you can't huh? get through a um, with a blanket. The blanket no, you set it off. <laughs> You couldn't even have a cell phone. They take that shit. Whoa. Oh, you were you in You just county. bring your books and your cell right. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds county. like jail, Lou. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. That's what that I jail? Went. <laughs> That was it. We couldn't have style. We all had the oh, same Lou, jumpsuit. High school in juvie. <laughs> Listen, she talking about, yeah, they was really strict. Nigga, you were in a penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> and spread. The food yeah, was bad. We actually had, like, real police officers, not, like, school safety at our school. I went to school on the hood, man. What you talking about? Like, Guards. All right. He wasn't care about no hot Cheetos. He was just gonna throw these hands. <laughs> you know, that was it. Were your teachers armed? Uh no, they got beat up a lot. We had like three teachers get beat up. What? Ours one teacher too. got a buck fifty across her face. No way. What a guy Google it. Wait, what is a buck fifty? 
It's when they slice your face. Kid yeah, brought in a raisin. Oh, right? What? So you, yeah, you, you, you have to get 150 mouth. stitches. So box cutter. I used to carry a blade in my mouth in college. I used to keep a little oh, blade. Wow. In college? You were I fighting in college? Too? I didn't yes, know that was a real thing. Yeah, it was real. I got into a little situation and I ain't feel oh. safe. So Who's like, fighting in college? That's what we said. We, like, we didn't come here for this. Well, there, was, <laughs> there was two shootouts at my school in college. <laughs> Y'all paying the beef? Lou, Lou you, said, you, you just said, we didn't come here for that, but you started this whole conversation with, I used to go to college with a box cutter under my tongue. It was a different time, okay? And it was a different situation, you know? Well, we came here for, to learn. <laughs> Y'all niggas paying to be there is the funniest part. That's what we said. We was like, we paying to be here. Why we have to go through this? I had two guns pulled on me in college. And then there was a shootout. And then somebody died. Now he's still in prison. It sounded like wow. you were, it it sound like you were promotion for HBCUs, to jail. Luke. You said what? So this is not good promotion for HBCUs. That was a this different why, time. This is why I want to go there. New York, a crazy place. Yeah, <laughs> see, I, I didn't even go to college in New York. See? Where yeah. was it? Virginia. Girl, that's the New York of the South. They just a little few states <laughs> south of, of New York. All y'all <laughs> went from New York. And your whole school was probably from New York. They were like, we left New York. No, y'all well, didn't. We had, by New York there here. was a New York population, a DC, Southern VA, and then there was like four or five dudes from Cali. <laughs> Wait, when you said your teachers got beat up, you mean in college? High school. Oh, I, was about to say, I thought you meant your professors. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild as hell. Oh, okay. No, that, that makes a lot of sense. You make a lot of sense now. Thank you. Wait, was your high school life at Tupac in Cali? Um, I went to a performing arts school, but it was, I went to Hamilton. They did so. jazz hands and beat them up. Right. <laughs> Hey yo, no, Hamilton had, was pretty, full, Hamilton was kind of rough though. They had full like uh, you know what I mean, like one gang would be here and they start walking to each other, snap off <laughs> the <laughs> sharks. <laughs> oh no, everybody get inside! The sharks are fighting the gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> Them old school Boy, gang. Wait, names. Kia, Boy, didn't you go to school in L.A. too? Me? Yeah, no, where'd you go to school? Bay. Oh, the Bay wasn't wasn't the Bay rough? My school was honestly, it wasn't supposed to, my school was, it was brand new. Like our school was like, uh, like a, uh, what do you call that shit? Magnet. Magnet. No, it was, uh, like, a like Fire. our school was an example of what other schools should be. Like we had, like we had, uh, a, a regular game gym and a practice gym. We had an Olympic size, uh, swimming pool. We had two baseball fields, softball fields. Public school? High school. We had a uh, indoor theater and an outdoor theater. We had elevators. Outdoor theater. We had is that private school? school? Like our school was state of the art. No, public school. But what happened was the school was open brand new, and then at this time they were shipping all the people from Oakland, Hunters Point, Richmond to where I grew up. So all the niggas came to our school. I mean, they all got kicked out like the first three weeks for fighting. But then, like, uh, yeah, our school was was incredible like incredible and then it was like the dynamic of the school was very like tv show um <laughs> like the athletes sat here and then the goth kids were here and then the you know what i mean like it was very like certain high it was straight off tv like a lot of social pressure of like you can't talk to them because they do that over there and you're just like nigga i just i just want to fuck but she's not in our circles like oh that sucks Man, we had the basketball field, football field, and soccer Shooting field range. was all the same field. <laughs> Shooting <laughs> range. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all had fucking firing flag practice. <laughs> we had to take turns. Our school was, our school had a, we had a, uh, one, one of our classes, you just made beats all day. <laughs> what? We did too. That was called lunch. No, it was a class. <laughs> You got Lou great. At, uh, a beat. Had a, we had a, we had a uh, video production. We had uh, culinary. We had uh, we had everything. We and we had Damn. clubs. We had social clubs before that shit was like a thing. Like we had an LGBTQ back then. We had a Celtic club for those who were like Irish. We had Black Student Union, Latino Student Union. Like we had, we was what? just we had everything. 
like everything. Our lunch, we didn't even have regular lunch. Our our school lunches were Wendy's, Taco Bell. Shut up. Oh, no, some, of the, some, of the, some of the high schools did have that because out here in L.A., yeah. some of them had like Pizza Hut or Domino's. Didn't, Domino's you tell me and that Subway. Yeah. Oh, Subway. Domino's and Subway. And we, I, had, and we had two cafeterias. So one had like certain foods and then the other cafeteria had like a nacho bar and like but like we had we had everything hey y'all want to fight this nigga keon what, <laughs> hey, hey, what if what if keon was in an insane asylum during that time <laughs> yeah we i'm had just making all this up uh, we had three cafeterias all right we get it if you go on youtube and and google deer valley high school you can find the video that they were promoting when the school was first opening and we had all the, and then our school was known for having the baddest chicks too, because everybody wanted to go there. So like other niggas would come from other schools and other neighborhoods after our, up to our school to try to take all our girls. So our school had a no hat policy so they could tell which people didn't go there. So dudes would come up there after school and they'd be like, you don't go here with hats on trying to pull all our chicks. Cause we was known for having like, even today, if I run into somebody, they'd be like, where you went to high school? And I'd be like, Deer Valley. They'd be like, y'all have bitches. And they'd be like, that's what we were <laughs> Having just bad ass chicks. We wasn't even allowed to leave the school for lunch because they was afraid we wouldn't come back. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't leave. Lou, we didn't have all that is lunch. jail, yeah. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we weren't allowed every, to leave after school either. Every yeah. you to describe <laughs> we it. We had to sleep on the bunk. She was like, and for some reason, like when we went to talk to our parents, they made us write letters home. They had to like approve. <laughs> Lulu we can't relate to us. She's like, how many riots have you guys had? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't Did have they any take riots. your privileges? <laughs> yeah, we used to have every time somebody pulled the fire alarm, we knew it was because there was a fight about to happen. It was like, this ain't no. This was a, a on the schedule. Somebody trying to get down. <laughs> like, why would that? Down. Why would that help a fight? Because everybody's leaving. No, because everybody's outside. Ain't nobody really watching five hundred students outside. Oh, Damn. that's smart. And, and you they'll have other dudes from kids? other gangs outside waiting to jump them. How many kids is in your school? Uh, it was a magnet school. So in my magnet was like one fifty. And then it was like four, there was four different schools. So it was like maybe like 500, 400, 500. That's oh, it. Right. And y'all, every, everybody that bad? Wait, <laughs> Only wait it was five, like 500 people in the entire school. Yeah, in the building. My graduating class, just the seniors had 900. Damn. There was like 90 something in my graduating class. No, our school was massive. I barely made it, okay? I didn't know <laughs> if I was going to walk. Lulu, your high school was one building? Yeah, it was one building, but it was four different magnets. So, like, first floor, second floor was my school and my school and humanities. And then third and fourth was law and government and, and uh, law and government and another school. I forgot the other school. Business. Sounds to me like you had cell block A, B, C, <laughs> e, and E, nigga. You went to a prison. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> had your, you had your you had your offenders, your heavy offenders here, your low level offenders here. You were just a low level offender. That's all. Like I never Lula, had. Did y'all have, no. have uniforms? Nah. <laughs> you okay. have lunch or chow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we only had like the school lunch, and then there was like a special window that if you had money, you can go buy like cake or like Lula, uh, that's, somebody that's put money called, on your book. That's called that's commentary. That's called general pop. And then that's called <laughs> solitary. So you were in general pop. Everybody gets lunch. The little window is for solitary. <laughs> they only had yeah, chocolate cake. And then you could get cookies or like uh, fruit punch or lemonade. But only um, out of the vending machines when people were visiting you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all trade soups? <laughs> and actually my my junior year they opened up like a little store so you can go buy stuff so you can with go J buy Pay? soup uh huh with jpay you could use they had like you could have like you have like an account <laughs> yeah, it's called jpay lou all of this all right let's put it to a vote before this lou all links up so perfectly. i'll vote that lulu went to jail for high school <laughs> It was a four-year bid. <laughs> <laughs> it 
be like, hey, they would let I got me my out degree. I was in there. I bet you did. I bet they, you they, did. They used to let me out early because I was on the uh, softball team. So I got and, and on the basketball team. So I got to leave school early to go to play. Yeah, okay. used to play other, house. She used to play other house. jails. <laughs> yeah. Good parade. Good behavior. He's like. <laughs> Walking the stage was just leaving with your stuff in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> playing vitamin C. Yeah, you your whole high school, you didn't even know. <laughs> it built character, okay? <laughs> Wait, but did you guys have a campus though, or was it just the building? Camp? No, it's not a building. It's a New campus? York. It's no. you know how much space you would need to have a campus. But there's not yeah. even like a courtyard in the middle. What? No, it's freaking. It's four seasons. It'd be cold. It's not like L.A. Pad. Only schools in like Cali or hot states yeah. that they have courtyards. Actually, you do not need to go outside see, and it's snowing. You can see my my school is on the cover of LL Cool J's album. That he he went to my high school. That's it's just a building. It's just like a forest. That's Rikers on that album, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's just> like... <laughs> Lulu sees it like, oh shoot, class of 05. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jill, don't even know. That's crazy. <laughs> that <ain't> shit. <laughs> That's why she was already used to going by her last name when she got in jail. I mean, got in the army. She was, she had been Gonzalez or inmate four five nine three two. <laughs> he was an all girls school. Huh? Four five three nine two. <laughs> got a visitor. Wow. Hey, we'll call you over the PA system like that. <laughs> Can you please come to the office? Oh, Let's put it to a vote, man. Y'all going with the Doritos cereal or y'all going with the flaming oh, hot dude. ice cream? Flame of uh, hot ice cream. Ice yeah, flame of hot. Flame of hot. Keon? Ice cream. Ice cream. All right. Ice cream unanimous on that. But we're going to jump school. into this next topic right after this. So I don't know if y'all know this, but temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep. For instance, I run hot when I sleep. I like to be nice and cool. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Maid's Bed sheets inspired by NASA. Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. They got self cooling properties for better quality sleep. You know I need that. And with that, I've been getting better sleep ever since. And let's talk about the self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacteria growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than any other sheets. No more gross or like stinky odors. Oh, and these sheets are luxurious. I'm talking comfort and quality. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without that high price tags like other luxury brands. And they feel nice, if not even nicer, than five-star hotel bed sheets. And also, these sheets are better for your skin, all right? Clean sheets mean less bacteria to clog your pores and fewer breakouts and other skin problems. So go to trymiracle.com slash squad, all right? To try Miracle Made sheets today. And with Mother's and Father's Day around the corner, this is the perfect way to give someone you love the gift of better, more luxury sleep and save over 40% and be sure to use the promo code SQUAD at checkout to save even more. And, and that's right, get three free towels. Come on, y'all, they giving away free towels? Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash squad and use the code squad to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off, all right? Again, that's trymiracle.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to treat yourself, all right? Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode of Squadcast. Next topic of the day we have, would you rather live on a sailboat versus live in an RV? Ooh. All right, oh, give me that. Give me that RV. That are they funny. this wait, are they the same size? They're comparable in size. RVs are fun though. Yeah, give me that RV. You Where can fall is out the of a sailboat. That? 
Um, you're docked in. Let's say Venice, Venice Beach. Venice Our Venice Beach. Beach. Mm hmm. Ooh, can you say like Manhattan or Huntington? And stuff? Ugh. I could. Well, I think no. I would. I think I would. Now that we're thinking about this, because you can go more places on a sailboat, and that's your house. So that's like one of the biggest expenses is like a hotel expense. You don't have to worry about that. You go to different countries. You sell wherever. You ain't really gonna be selling that sailboat to no really different countries for real. You Why? it sound good, but you ain't gonna boat. do that. Why not? You ain't Why got no nautical. Just... Le- you ain't got no no sea legs, nigga. You ain't really out there on them waters like that. True. But I would hope that you can navigate it if you can drive, because it's like a car. Like you can't you take can a car if you don't it. have the license. You, navigate it, so, you think you're gonna be able to do it by yourself? Oh, you have to go by yourself? Uh, you didn't you say that. that. I mean, so I can YouTube that. I can learn how to sail. Yeah, I mean, it ain't that hard. All right. But <laughs> driving at night is way easier than sailing at night, I'm sure. So I you fall can... asleep driving at night, so that's probably not the safest. You probably <laughs> fall asleep sailing at night then, and then you fall out. and Well, who cares because you're in the freaking going. water. So you I just mean, yeah, end up on a mean... different place, destination. You look up GPS. Where did I end up? That okay. could be horrible. You can't do that on a boat. You 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 get yes, lost. You, can. you, you get can lost. Fall asleep on a boat. Where are you getting your that service from though? Out there in that water. You 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 be sailing Obviously, and mess around I'm running to a storm. A, you mess around running to a storm on the sea. Right. That you can't like pull over from. You run if you get into a bad storm, snow or rain mm-hmm. where you drive, you mm-hmm. can pull over, let it try to you know pass you by. If you on the sea, nigga, where you gonna go? It's a more. But storm? you act like y'all. You act like you can't look at weather ahead. Like you have to look at the weather to know. Oh, is this a day that I should be sailing? The yeah, way that I'm weather- going. Because weather always does what it's supposed to do. It's no, not but nine times out of ten, you know if it's, it's going to be a hurricane. Well it will behave. It went to the but same school that Lou You'll was know in. if there's a tsunami in that area. You'll but have it, some but kind you of don't, idea. If it's you not going to be like, oh, it's, it's, there's nothing going on here today. And all of a sudden, there's a tsunami. There's always some kind of, like, they, they be letting you know. They give you alerts. I as, mean, a, as a person who spends a lot of time on the water, I'm taking that RV. And it wasn't even, it wasn't even a thought. Like, <laughs> fuck the water. Why you don't like the water? Are you on the water now? No, nah, not not. I leave tomorrow. <laughs> leave Are you tomorrow in the to Navy? Go that bitch for four days. No, he be doing cruises. Oh, that's <laughs> why you don't like it. What's wrong with the cruises? It's because of the old ladies be trying to hit on you. First of all, Meg, let's be real. The young bitches be hitting on me too. But that's not the point. <laughs> the point is. <laughs> the point is. <laughs> the point is no. The water is just you. You. You don't. You realize how isolated you really are, and insignificant, and 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 just like just like first of all, how big the water, the ocean big. is just big. It's just big as hell. And two, just like you can't like do everything you want to do. Like with an RV, I can go anywhere I really want to go. On the water, in the United oh, States like, or North America, what do you mean? You just stuck. Like you just. You just That's stuck still around. stuck. You stuck in one country. You could drive to South America. Man, how, many, how many people are driving man, to South how, America? You're going to drive through all of crazy, not, like the crazy thing, parts you're of Mexico. Not, you're, not taking, you're not taking a sailboat. That's, that's not South America. Countries. That's, Keon, what? I'm trying to tell her, bro. She thinks she's going to take okay, a sailboat. Hold on, check it out. It's <laughs> are massive. Your sailboat is not surviving <laughs> trips around the world. Yeah, hold oh, on. Let me look up a are? sailboat. You say, a sailboat? <laughs> what does a sailboat look is like? Is it like a little sailboat with like one sail? Like you're, you're like I'm gonna sail to Africa, and then I'm yeah. Sail to- even even if it's a yacht, that yacht is gonna get his ass kicked. I and mean, when them choppy waters start, man, gonna be like. <laughs> and I should have picked the RV. Like, kind of, well, they they took a sailboat to the Bahamas on Outer Banks. You let the white that. people keep influencing you. <laughs> this, uh, this lady, I remember she, I think she caught up. She she had the small little vessel and she went from, was it California to Hawaii? And it was like one of the little small joints that's like supposed to be able to withstand the, the, the weather and the, the water and all of that. That lady almost died. She made it, but she almost died. Traumatized. You know what I'm saying? You on this boat with just you and your fa- you and the kids trying to sail. Well, that ain't happening. Nice. Your husband. 
Hey, how does sales say, boats even I mean, work? I you just like gotta in the Atlantic as opposed. I wouldn't be on the Pacific. You need on a that motor, side. right? It needs like a motor, and if the motor go out, you don't know how to fix it, and now you just drifting in the water, waiting for some good. That's air. like saying if your you motor go out on your car, you can't fix it your way. either. But there's other people there. The water, you're just out there. The water big. Yeah. If my if my well, RV can't you just down, go like I could call AAA. There ain't no AAA in the water, man. Right. That is Coast Guard. You don't got no radio in that sailboat. Yes, Why you do. Why you would you do radio? radio? You a, a tiny sailboat. You have a walk. Every time. boat does, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, unless, unless you dock the radio around where Lulu went to school. They stole that shit. That shit gone. You ain't got no radio in the <laughs> Anywhere else, they take the sales too, and they ain't shit to do with them. Yeah, they made tape out of it for the school play. I mean, upon further investigation, I think my high school did look like a prison. (laughs) Not upon further investigation. Did your class doors shut like this? Hey, Lou, does this do anything for you? Lights out. <laughs> Actually, that's what they did in the military. So yes, <laughs> man. This, I'm just looking at these sailboats. These modern sailboats are nice, y'all. <laughs> hey, these new RVs is is dope as fuck, hey, though. Right, RVs are dope. Here, like on a sailboat, I don't like RVs, the space that you have, like you can visibly see, is the the space you have to work with. RVs, you can get like a double slide. Where both sides come out, so you got everything that you see, but then you also get these two sides, and then some of them in the back, the back side can come out too. So it's it's you get way more space with the RV. Right. You be having a full shower, like yep. a full working shower. You can put like a, a really big bed. You have a full kitchen. Look, look, um, look, this you is, can this have is that school. in a modern sailboat, y'all. I'm looking. That's one school. That was my high school. Damn. That looked like the Apple compound. Right. Like, I thought that was a Pentagon for a second, the way it was shaped. <laughs> like, this nigga. That's insane. Wait, that's just a high school or is it like K through 12? No, it was just a high school. What the? Wow. What were your class sizes? How many people were in your, like one class? Way too many. We was in there fucking around. The teacher couldn't, couldn't keep track of all them goddamn kids. That's crazy. Every so class, like every class probably had at least 30. And that was like... Yeah. When I was teaching, I had 32 kids in my homeroom. Ooh. That shit was crazy. Trying to teach wow. seven, seven graders, 32 of them, keep them entertained yeah. and engaged with no teacher's assistance. Teacher. No my teacher's school. aid, no well, we nothing. Had, we had TAs because I TA'd my senior year. Uh, what? That was college. No, I had it. I doing that in high school? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So you, if you had good grades, you were TA or what? How did you, how'd you get It was an elective. Year? It was an elective, so I, I TA'd for the freshman uh, science class. He's my favorite teacher, so I went back just to hang out in that class. So, yeah, I was just in there chilling. Man, right. look at these modern-day RVs. Oh, the RVs hey. is killing it. Look yeah, I'm this. taking an RV for sure, for sure. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And you can get out. You can park and get out and walk around. Right. You can't, you can't do that on a sailboat. Hey, with the RV, you could have your car towed on the hitch in the back so if you right. go into the city you park on the auto limits and then go to the town in your car or have your bikes or your motorcycle all of that you can't do that this look it. better than some no, like RVs. Cool yeah. right I'm why, why RV. y'all pick up the inside of a sailboat the modern sailboats are nice let, let me see you only look got you only got Hulu and shit while you are docked, Meg. Ain't nobody gonna have you. Ain't gonna have a, a satellite strong enough to have Hulu and shit while you. Are <laughs> well, I can't have a sat phone. You gotta be like a old, like retired, drunken police officer to have a sailboat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> those are people that we have an RV. Have you ever been to an RV lot? I mean, an RV. What is it like the the parks? Where yeah, there's be, some like, meth heads, but there's some there. travelers too. Maybe that's why I don't like it. I've been to an RV park. It, it reminds me of the trailer parks. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I grew up around in Kentucky. Why, why were you there? Free because Kentucky. I've been on an RV Buying several meth? times. But why? What are you doing? Like on traveling. There? Buying meth. <laughs> you like to go to trailer park to trailer park to test the meth. Like, oh, this is good. <laughs> good. She's like, I've seen plenty of RVs. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> If it was like a huge one, like this, this is nice. 
But the RVs that I be seeing are the ones that are like, <clears throat> when you look, just look up like RV rentals. Those are terrible. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, those, I mean, th those ain't even like the RV rentals, especially the one out here, like Explore California. That shit is really a minivan. It is literally like a Dodge Caravan. So I right. wouldn't count that. No you features. You get a real RV, Mel. Meg. 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 today. Nah, I, this oh, isn't no. even a, a, a difficult one. Sailboat. Let's put it. Let's yeah. let's let's let's. You don't even like the top. ocean, Pat. Shut up. Exactly. That's what Which I'm is why it's an easy choice for him. And you can just do more. I actually just want an RV, low key, at one point. I want one, but I want somebody else to drive it. Like I just want to chill. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe that's the other part too. I used to drive a food truck when I worked for this protein bar company, and I'm not good at driving large protein vehicles. bar company. Oh, but and you thought in your brain, if you're not good at driving a food truck, a boat would just be light work. <laughs> yeah, because there's who am I hitting in the ocean? Nobody. You, you boats crash all the time. You could crash. Okay, but who am I hitting? I'm not hitting nobody, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit, hit somebody in hit that RV. Boat. Another boat, a dock, pier. You could you could flip over if it's too windy or if your sails ain't up the right way. Okay, well maybe I should take some classes before I get on that, Pat. You got to take no RV classes. Yes, you do. Go ahead and drive an RV. Drive in and see if you don't hit nothing because it's a big vehicle. Uh, you, you just got to warm the, uh, up to I think, it. I think for I'm RV, telling you, you I license, hit this though. lady. Yeah, with you got to have a different license. Yeah. Different license for yeah, RV. Yeah. I think it's for like a, a big CDL, for the big ones, I right? think so. You gotta get a CDL. Yeah. You need a CDL or drive an RV. That's excessive. Is it? I don't know. Somebody, somebody, Google that. Do we I'm need a CDL right to now. drive an RV? Google well, an RV can go anywhere. It doesn't have to wait. Wait, for I think the it depends wind. on what size. I think if it's, it's the, the size. little size, I don't think you need one. But I, if it's like the big one, like I'm looking here, it's like a luxury. This is a human. This is like a a charter bus. Oh, shit. You don't need a special license to drive an RV. If you already have a regular driver's license, that's all you need. However, if the RV has a GVWR in excess of 26,000 pounds, then you will need to obtain your CDL with proper obtain? classification. Huh? I'm alone, Lulu. Obtain? I can tell so you to, We know you didn't go to Keon school. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, I got some old toothbrushes over here if you want to make them into a shank and send them to the <laughs> classmates. And How many of your classmates played harmonica? Nigga, <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? That was the whole band. It was 26 <laughs> harmonica players <laughs> in a concert band. <laughs> Niggas only playing Ray Charles and Alan Wolf. <laughs> Lou, when it was time to graduate, did y'all ever say, what you going to do when you get out? <laughs> y'all say it like that, or did you say, what's your future plan? <laughs> Lou was like, damn, y'all lucky. Y'all all graduated together? We all graduated individually <laughs> at different times. Bless <laughs> <laughs> uh, her heart. Y'all ain't shit. Fuck y'all. Put it to a vote. What we going with? Going with uh, the RV, or we going with the sailboat? RV, RV, luxury RV. sailboat for the girl. <laughs> Hell no, man, this want to be difficult, bro. Like I probably, no, I'm looking. I'm literally looking at it, and it looks amazing, y'all. You're gonna I'm accidentally gonna sail it. I don't the mind living on water. water. <laughs> and we ain't hey. never gonna see Meg again. And if it's not windy, guess where you going? Nowhere. <laughs> Stupid. We can just Wait, drive. Ain't there a motor on a sailboat? <laughs> You're like, There's oh, I just gotta wait for the wind to blow where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. They have motors too, but if you run out of gas or... So you could just you know, drive a sailboat without the sails up? No, nah, you yeah, got a little motor up, in the back. If you were not using the motor. Ain't that a boat? Just a boat? <laughs> I'm looking at look if y'all looking at luxury RVs I'm looking at luxury sailboats and these sailboats do not they have motors on them so yeah, they do well then what's the point of having a sailboat why don't you just get a boat because you don't because then you don't need them you if it's a windy day then you put the sails up you, like use, a Prius. you gotta use like, no uh resources like a hybrid around yeah <laughs> and you can I'm take cool terms like oh, bring it around starboard you can go say, like, oh, just bring it around starboard <laughs> you just you get to say stuff it's not starburst here. He didn't say starburst. 
got happy. You bring it around Starburst? <laughs> Starburst and pork. <laughs> <laughs> Early on good behavior and want to show delicious out. nautical <laughs> term. <laughs> Go ahead, keep talking. Watch how plant some dope on your ass. You be back in there. <laughs> That's why I take me back to jail. All my friends is there. <laughs> Can you speed up, please? I a- put some dope on them too. All right, man. We're gonna jump into this last and final topic <laughs> right after this. Last topic of the day. We have six months of spring versus six months of summer. Oh, I don't like spring. Wait, what parts of summer? Like the hottest month or like the yeah. whole summer? Well, like if it's six winter. months, you're probably going to get a range of it. So, okay. Yeah. You got to get a little spring, arc. Spring, easy. Uh, give you me say what? What'd you say, Keon? Spring, for sure. Hell no. yeah. No, give me no. summer, man. This do y'all, do y'all know how terrible spring is in a place like Georgia? There's literally green film on everything. The pollen count is ridiculous. You will die well, out that's here. That's why I live in California. I'm saying, but this is spring. I, why now. would I go to Georgia? I don't go there now. Like, why would I go with only spring? But the spring in LA is trash too. This has been spring. This has been a horrible spring. Exactly. We get a range of things. One day it's hot. One day it's cold. I don't one like day... that shit. But so, you know, it sucks. Summer. Summer's hot everywhere. I it's love tough. that shit. I don't like I that. Mm, I love that. Like oh, I love that. Hot. I love because well, if you're saying you get the most... range of summer, then you get like the not as hot parts, and then you get the like. But a who is it not that hot, hot in summer? Ninety is it uncomfortable. Is. No, no, good, and the, he said you get the whole the range of the summer. Like oh, summer is not ninety like degrees, a hundred degrees the whole time through. I love I'd it. Rather, I'd rather put on a hoodie than sweat. I don't like being. Hot I anymore. love to sweat. I want to go. I want to sweat all that. I would rather go to the pool. Yeah. The beach. Mm-hmm. I like going to run in. Like all that shit. I like sweating. It's Summer's just like being outside because you didn't have freedom for four years. That's why. But it's not <laughs> nobody. No normal people. Not only that. Not only that. No, most jails we don't, don't want have that. air conditioning. Most jails don't have air conditioning. So after four years, you get mm-hmm. conditioned to that heat. Damn. Damn. Wait to hear where where is this summer or spring at? Uh, my hamster cave. Wherever we at? (laughs) (laughs) This is even funnier because I just got a hamster for my son. (laughs) To hear, hey yo, (laughs) what's the hamster look like? Uh, Ah, damn it. Fuck you, Lulu. You fucking felon. That's why you can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu hit us up like, where y'all at? We at the polls. Lames. <laughs> what y'all doing after? What y'all doing after? Dweebs. <laughs> oh, uh, let's say it is in um trying to think of a of a a state that would be a good little common or middle, middle ground. Uh, let's just say California, bro. Because, I mean, California could give you all ranges. You go north enough, you can get all the seasons, and you come where we at, and you be good. So, California. Spring. Spring is okay. dope. If it's California, then I would say spring. Mm-hmm. Summer. Mm. I feel like summer's overrated and we only like it because we got a break from school. School. And so facts. Like, we all like we structured our whole lives around summer. Right. So, but I mean it's it's definitely not the best season. Uh, I've spent <laughs> half of my life in a cold state and so we only had summer for real for real two months. So I I I crave a good summer and I love going back home to Panama. It's always summer. I love summer. Mm. Damn, New York is cold all year except two months. Yeah, with well, summer, our summers be lit. But then soon as spring, spring be rainy and cool. Like, and then soon as the fall hit, it's leather season. Ooh, I love the fall though. Fall is fall my, is my favorite, favorite time of year. Fall. Oh, that's what I should have made it. I should have said six it. months spring. Yeah, I, I mean, like six fall. months summer, six months fall. I love fall. Because the oh, fall, man. you get to actually dress. Like, you get to yeah, see yeah, you layer up. Mm-hmm. The thing layer I don't, the thing I don't like about summer. The reason why I don't like winter or summer is because I don't like being bullied by the weather. I don't like, I like to choose my outfits. I don't want the weather to be like, bitch, it's hot. You putting on them shorts. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like that. You know you won't put them shorts on. Shut up. What difference does it make if it says, uh, oh, it's raining, so you have to wear an umbrella? Like, what? 
Rainy what? days be cool, and you don't wear an umbrella. You he, carry one. He, he, I'm but, saying, so like, that, like stuff. you're still being bullied into what you have to wear. Or but it don't rain every you. day. When it's just hot every day, it's just nothing you can. It's just hot. Man, don't do so everybody anyway, irritable. Man. You sweaty. Like, you think it's musty. Like I don't like summer because other people made me not like summer. I'm I was I don't like musty people and everybody be musty. No one's musty like, in winter. It's impossible. No, I feel like it was you, Keon. No, I'm very good. <laughs> everywhere you that. went. <laughs> He's like everybody's oh, always like, musty. <laughs> no, I hate oh, this like, season. <laughs> like you ever like you ever get hugs in the summer when everybody got when ladies have their spaghetti strap shirt on and they fucking ugh. Yeah, your whole shoulder smell like armpit? No, nigga. Nah, no. I keep a deodorant on me in the car, in the bag. Yeah. I always, there's always an extra DO for the BO. Um, <laughs> extra DO for the BO? I like that little <laughs> bars, nigga. Dumb. You're welcome. <laughs> you came up with that time to see your PO. You found like in your shoebox that you kept in your cell. Like you was like, when I get out, Nigga, I'm gonna hit him with this bo for the do. Hey, I wasn't a rap group in high school too. Sure. <laughs> Wait, a rap group? Uh, that was just cell block A cipher. Right. <laughs> it was a you jailhouse it was quartet. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. We was that. We was crazy. It was Why lit. was y'all called seven thirty? Wow. That's when class started. That was, that's what time lights out. No. Seven <laughs> thirty is what they call it when you're like clinically insane. They call it seven thirty. So we were just like crazy, insane and sound. So y'all rapping about like killing people and stuff. I mean, we rapped about stuff. You know, yeah, rapping in the dark. Give us, give us one of your bars. Let's hear nah, it. Nah. Y'all were violent rappers. That's hilarious. Nah, we not doing that. I let you my mixtape. Let's go loose a little something. Nah, 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 nah. Those, I'm a lady now. Those days is over. Hey. <laughs> I'm sure the lyrics are carved in a wall somewhere. Hey, Lulu got talent. She's gonna make it when she get out. <laughs> They wouldn't give her no paper in jail. She had to remember it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, oh, nigga's etching raps in the wall like a fucking Egyptian. <laughs> that's, that's, why she to, that's why she went to the military. Because she was like, wait a minute. So y'all telling me, y'all going to tell me what to do. I get to do outside activities, calisthenics. <laughs> I'm used to this. This is what I do every day. You tell me when to wake up. With, with pay? Yeah, let's oh, let's absolutely. Let's do it. And low key, Keon, that was part of my logic. I was like, I get to get in shape and y'all gonna pay me? Say less. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, how quick did you get in shape when you joined the military? Did immediately? I mean, I was already, I was already an athlete, so I was already in shape. They would use me for examples. Like I would do the obstacle course first so I could show people how to do it. So was it easy? Hey. It was, was kind of tough. Even I, thinking about it, my drill sergeant was a dickhead. He was like, you go, since you used to running from cops, you go first. And I was like, hey, Damn. that's crazy. See, if you would have been witty, you'd be like, uh-uh, I didn't run from cops. I got caught, and that's why I did four years. So <laughs> they caught me. I'm not that good at this. Don't use me, drill sergeant, OK? I'm a bad criminal. <laughs> The well, army had a don't ask, don't, don't tell shit. policy, so she didn't have to tell on herself, so she was good. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they. <laughs> I actually got super skinny in boot camp. My mom, when she came to my graduation, she was very concerned. She was like, you look sick. Are they not feeding you? I'm like, mom, it's the army. I'm they. I'm working out in 125 degree weather. I'm going to lose weight. Oof. Yeah, we would be, It was. I was in Oklahoma, so we'd be in the summer mm. in Oklahoma in full military you know, uniform and then doing exercises and getting in trouble, having our weapons. Like it was just a lot. Yeah, Ooh, those workouts wouldn't have been as tough if they were in the spring though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I loved it. I loved the act of sweating. I felt like I was doing something. You know, it just felt mm -hmm. good. It felt like why, why in the summer though? Are they training you for the heat too? Uh no, that was just the time that my boot camp was scheduled because I was going in between school. So I had to go during the uh, summer. Okay. When you know when when my classes was done for college. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, everybody well, else. Let's let's, let's put it to a right vote, now. man. We going with this with the spring or the summer? What are we going with? Summer, spring, 
Spring. 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 Yeah. Spring right. as well, man. Spring's got it on that one. Sorry, Lou. Jill Bird. Thank God so much for watching another episode of Squadcast Versus, man. Want to give a special thanks to our guest, King Eye Poli, man. Make sure y'all check him out. And special shout out to the OG Squad, Meg, Pat, Lulu. I'm to hear more. We'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace, guys. Bye.